Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss problem 303 from lead code which is the range sum query immutable. So the question is pretty simple. Um, given an array of integers like this, we are to find the sum of elements between any two given indices. So we're given an ind index i and j and we are guaranteed that i would be less than or equal to j and we have to find the sum of all numbers from index i to index j inclusive so in the example test cases you have 0 to 2 which is this is index 0 index 1 and index 2 if you add these numbers up you get one um, similarly from index 2 to index 5 um, 0 1 2 3 4 5 so it's it's this part of the array um, 3 plus minus 5 is minus 2 plus 2 minus 1 is minus 1 and so on so the thing to note here that is the array does not change and there are many calls to some range function so um, the brute force solution here would be to just in the sum range function we would just go to index i up to j and keep adding the numbers from i to j but however they say that the sum range function will be called many times so we should probably make use of that fact to optimize the code in here wherein for example if we are called with the same i and the same j twice then we should just be able to return it in o1 instead of recomputing the whole thing so let's say we had an array of like a thousand elements and we frequently get inputs like i equals 2 and j equals 900. Every time it is called, we are going to be iterating from 2 to 900 and summing it up, uh, which is not efficient. So what we're going to do is find a way wherein we um, are able to reuse the previous results and make it more um, optimized. So the approach that I'm going to go with here is to use a prefix sum and pre-calculate the prefix sum and um, use that pre-calculated prefix sum to return this. So the way that's going to work is we are going to calculate the sum from element 0 to every other element. And the way we're going to return range is, is going to go is going to be the prefix sum of uh, 0 to j minus the prefix sum of i. So for example, sorry, of j by definition, it's 0 to every other element. So um, for example, in this case, um, summing all the numbers from index 0 to 2 is 1. And summing all the numbers from index 0 to 5 is um, 1 plus minus 1 minus 6 is minus 5 plus 2 is 3, right? So then 1 minus, sorry, I might have miscalculated that. So let's see, minus 2 and 2 cancel each other out, minus 2 and minus 1, yeah, minus 3. So from 0 to 2, we have, um, yeah, from 0 to 2, sorry, from 0 to 1, because we have to include 2 in the sum. So we the i here is actually going to be i minus 1. So it's going to be the prefix sum of j minus the prefix sum of i minus 1. So then you go from 0 to 5, you get all this, and then you subtract 0 to i minus 1. So then you're left with this, right? So um, zero. So the the whole from zero to five is uh, is negative three, and then we subtract 
this part which is negative 2 so we end up with uh, negative 1 which is what this answer is so we're gonna use that idea and implement it. so since we're using a minus 1 there's one edge case we need to consider if i is 0 right so if i is 0 we're gonna end up doing um, prefix sum of negative 1 right and what we want that to be is simply 0 because like if you get the sum of the zeroth element inclusive it should just be that element right so that means we want the previous um, thing of this to just be equal to 0 so that we don't add anything to it um, so I'm going to go and implement this so well, how we're gonna store the prefix sums are in a hash map where the key would be the index and the value would be the prefix sum so here we're gonna store a hash map of uh, integer to integer um, prefix sum and in here we're just going to return prefix sum dot get uh, j minus prefix sum dot get uh, i minus 1 so this would be a o1 lookup and we can keep calling this and this code here in the constructor would only execute once and what we do here is we're going to initialize the hash map and then we're going to go like for each element in the nums array so uh, for each element in the oh actually we need the index so we have to iterate through it so less than num len i plus plus so what we're going to do is for each element in this array we're going to have a running sum so let's see our sum would be equal to zero and then we're going to make it sum equals now at i so we're gonna keep adding the sum each elements uh, as we go and we're gonna insert the sum up to that element into the hash map so we're gonna put i and sum and we need to take care of one case which is this one so before we initialize it we're gonna put uh, negative one uh, negative one zero into the hash map um, yeah so this solution should work and the only drawback is that we actually go ahead and compute everything uh, even though if it's not needed so one optimization that we could make is only insert it in the hash map so we, we try to lazily, we look in the hash map and if it's not yet there, then we compute it. But um, that would be a little bit wasteful since you'd have to go and look um, if you've already had um, a previously computed value. So for example, if you're trying to find the prefix sum of like 900 and you already have a prefix and then the next time you get like a prefix sum of 899 for example and then if you lazily compute it you're gonna go from 900 to 0 and then next time you're gonna go from 899 to 0 when you've already been there once so um, so then you can't kind of optimize for that case so potentially you'd be doing a lot of uh, going through the same array so unless you try to find a smarter way like okay, if i get 900 then you look around if you've seen um, 899 or if you get 899 you look around if you've seen 898 or 900 and just add one or minus one but um, that could get really complicated uh, so i think uh, this 
solution is a little bit space and intensive and does all the work up front but um, the calls to the sum range function would be optimized as this would just now be like an O1 uh, lookup so let's run this code hopefully it compiles uh, line number six oops so variable prefix sum Okay, so the result is the same. Let's submit it. All right, we have a pretty good result. So, um, yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be um, look out for my other lead code videos.